You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Welcome back to our continuing coverage here at CES 2014. I'm John P. I'm Adam. Lots of excitement, Adam. A lot of excitement. Well, we're going to continue with the excitement because we also have Aaron joining us from Neptune Pine. Hi. How are you, sir? I'm very good, thank you. How's the show treating you? Pretty good. <laughs> Biz, pretty are intense. your feet actually still working? Uh, partially, at yeah. least. It's amazing how <laughs> much you have to walk around here, isn't it? Yeah, it's wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you up to? Tell us about Neptune Pine. First of all, before you tell before we get, because you have the most impressive gadget <laughs> I've seen all day strapped all right. to your wrist. But before we get to that, where did the name Neptune Pine come from? Neptune Pine, well, uh, I wish I could give you like a really deep philosophical reason <laughs> yeah. why I had it, but it was really, um, besides it sounds kind of cool, yeah. you know, we know it's like a lot of people, like a lot of people that have done very well, they kind of have random names. Yeah, that's true. And it's like you don't forget the name if it sounds really random, <coughs> you know. So instead of saying something like, you know, like something related to watches yeah. or wearables or whatever, it would sound really generic, so it's like, this is so random that nobody's gonna be able to forget about it. Yeah, that's a good principle. That's a good answer. I <laughs> actually have a similar story because we named our company Livid Lobster. Awesome. But it was not on purpose. It wasn't <laughs> as calculated as yours. It was one of these where the lawyer called up and he was like, what do you want to call the company? All the names you had actually chosen are taken. And I was pissed. I was like, ah. Uh, I don't care, make something up. You can call it Livid Lobster for all I care. <laughs> don't ever tell a lawyer <laughs> something like that. Anywho, yeah. back to the actual story at hand. So <laughs> tell us, what what do you guys do? Uh, well, at the core, we're an innovations company. Uh, our first uh, our first product is really, is this the Net Neptune Pine smartwatch? It's a fully standalone smartwatch. Uh, you know, we'd seen that there was a lot of tethered devices available and we were kind of looking around at the technology on the market when we started designing it. And we really, we realized that a full feature device was actually possible. It's just nobody was undertaking that kind of project. So that's really what motivated us. You know, we looked around and we're like, nobody's really done this or at least nobody's executed it well and, and properly, um, you know. So we really we saw an opportunity there, and, and we ran with it, you know. All right, so what does it do? All right, cool. So show it Fire to it us. Up. First of all, I've got it. All right. I've got the old uh, uh, close-up camera here. So uh, <laughs> you've got a big old uh, computer screen there strapped to your wrist. That's right. So you can see we have a full Android system. Uh, it's an Android Jelly Bean, and uh, we've got an Android-supported resolution. So it's a 320 by 240 screen. And really one of the big benefits to this is that, um, you know, like it can run apps uh, with little to no modification. You know, we've, sidelo we've sideloaded many uh, Android apps and tested them out and, you know, they work almost flawlessly. You know, so this is a really, uh, it's a really big advantage because many of the apps. Did I see yeah. maps on there? Uh, yeah, there's, there's map <laughs> apps um, <laughs> on there and it's okay. definitely something that we can, uh, you know, that, that, that can be leveraged by the device. We've got a GPS chip in there and, uh, you know, so it's really responsive. It works really well uh, for GPS navigation. Um, one of the great things and one of the reasons for the, the, the form oh, factor wow. is really, um, you know, we wanted to have a full QWERTY keyboard, oh, wow. nice. you know, a keyboard that's actually usable. So, you know, some of the other devices, like having a 1.5 inch screen, you know, 1.6 inch screen, it's too small to really have a functional keyboard. So this was really important for us because if it's going to have any chance of replacing a smartphone, you've got to be able to enter data into it very easily. So. Um, besides that, one of the cool things that we have is uh, we're the only smartwatch with dual cameras. So I'll just boot up the camera here. Um, I'll switch it. We've got the front-facing VGA camera, so you can actually do Skype uh, video chat with oh, the front-facing camera. Can you, you imagine can see that? It's a conception it's right on. on the, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah we've, got, uh, we've got <laughs> We've got uh, a tiny camera in the front, VGA resolution camera. And um, we've also got a camera in the back because the watch actually detaches. So I'm going to detach it here. Oh, look sweet out. And you can God. see right here. <laughs> I did not expect that. You just yeah. freaked me out. That was the wow factor for you. 
Yeah, so you can use it, uh, you know, like as a point and shoot camera, and it works really great in that capacity. Okay, can so I see that? I don't have to sure. wear it on my wrist. I can just throw it in my pocket. Look at this. Exactly. Would exactly. you look at that? It is the tiniest little computer I've ever <laughs> seen. It's like like a little tiny computer exactly. detached from your wrist. And it's really powerful too. We've got a, a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4. Uh, we're running a dual core, 1.2 gigahertz. Um, so uh, it's it's really powerful too. We've done a lot of power optimization uh, to get it to you know have an acceptable battery life. So right now we've got 120 hours standby and eight hours talk time. So wow. we really wanted it to be a device that you can use throughout the day without having to worry about charging it halfway through. So it's equal to or greater than the battery life that you get on a smartphone. And I can make phone calls from my wrist if I wanted to. Exactly. You uh, can do you Skype need calls. Yeah. Or you could do phone Skype calls. calls. Screw phone calls. My mom That's doesn't so have like Skype. I only call my mom really. So she doesn't. <laughs> phone calls are like so. 20, like 2005 or something. My mom's stuck <laughs> yeah. in 2005. Oh, is She's she? very old fashioned. Okay, my dad is too. Actually, yeah. no, we got my dad using Skype. Really? I'm not sure Impressive. I can get him to use one of those just because he can <laughs> barely even use Skype. But that's the kind of thing that all the geeks would definitely like to have. So tell us more about like, when did you start this project and where are you in the life cycle? I mean, can people buy one or are we still uh, in development? Yeah. Well, actually, we just finished our, our Kickstarter campaign. It's been hugely successful, actually. How um, did that go? Well, we were aiming for $100,000 and we raised uh, over $800,000. Nice. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. So it's been pretty awesome. We've got like a huge uh, influx of support. Um, we've actually sold out our entire first production run of oh, units. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, that's great. We're going to, we're, hopefully we're going to start, if nothing goes wrong, we're going to start shipping them out to, to backers uh, at the end of January. Awesome. Uh, you know, we've got a second production run that's uh, going to come out in March. And, um, yeah. How so much? Uh, how, I know that when you do Kickstarters, you generally give people a break because they're helping you fund the startup of your exactly, company. Exactly. How much did people? How much were they able to buy one for? And what are you targeting, kind of, for the future releases to the general, you know, market? Oh uh, well, on Kickstarter, it was the uh, the first backers could get it for one ninety nine, and then what? we had uh, yeah. I backed it. I'm waiting on one. Really? Kevin and I both did. One ninety nine. I serious. thought you were gonna say four ninety nine. I swear <laughs> to God. I swear to God. I yeah. thought that was gonna be four ninety nine. Okay. Yeah, so what? One ninety nine for the Kickstarter. Backers. But four ninety nine after the Kickstarter, right? <laughs> not, not even actually. Because if you sold eight hundred thousand dollars worth, you could double the price. Okay. Very I'm true. just telling you right now. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, right? So um, our retail price uh, out of Canada. So our retail price is a 335 Canadian for the 16 gig version, uh, 395 for the uh, the 32 gig version. Uh, we're also working on we have a 64 gig version and uh, an 8 gig version, but our 8 gig version actually has a, an NFC chip integrated into it. Um, so we're working on being able to use it as a sort of as a pay pass device. You know, so we'll have a Sweet. secure app. I feel like I want to buy one of these for my daughter. I have an 18-month-old daughter, but she walks around with either my iPad or my phone all day, you know, and she watches her kids' shows. So I feel like I could just strap it on her wrist and throw some movies on, and she just walk around all day and watch movies. Yeah, that's a great way to get rid yeah. of your responsibility Absolutely. for your children. <laughs> well, the TV is technically a babysitter, is it not? That's true. That that's is what I've true. heard. Yeah. Okay. I, I, does it have... I, I know you were just telling me about the storage uh, options in it, but does it have a, can it take a micro SD or anything like that? Uh, not an external micro okay. SD, but. Just um, built in. Yeah, yeah, well, it, 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 on, on the board, mounted on the board, it is an, a micro SD. Oh, okay. Um, you but know. you have to get inside to insert those things and all that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's internal to the casing. Okay, cool. And what other ports does it have, like a headphone jack or any other fun buttons yeah, or anything so like that? Yeah, so I can just show you here. So we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Okay. And um, so, you know, there's the receiver, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, we've got the volume keys, the power key, and uh, we've got the microphone here. So uh, that's the thing. If you're using it, um, you know, not everybody is, is going to want to use speakerphone and talk sure. like this. So uh, you can either pair a Bluetooth headset, you can plug one into the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, or if you take it out, you know, you can use it like this, you know, like a mini cell phone also. <laughs> Check that out. Can, can I use it without my phone if I don't have a SIM card in it, or does it? Uh, it requires a SIM card for standalone functionality. Okay. Uh, but we know that not everybody's ready to give up their smartphones yet. Sure. Wait, you so can put a SIM card in that? You didn't, yeah. you didn't get that part? Yeah. No, I'm too. When you were making phone calls? My right mind is it's too a phone. It's on its, its own. It's your phone on your wrist. It shouldn't cost one ninety nine, okay? But anyway, <laughs> it's actually got a SIM card slot so you can use it That's as a right. phone. Exactly, exactly. So we got quad And it's band got Wi Fi? Wi Fi two, uh, Bluetooth four point oh. What Wi Fi two point four or five gigahertz or both or uh, Wi Fi it's uh, Probably 2.4. It's Wi-Fi. Yeah, 2.4. It's no, no, Wi-Fi. It's, okay. Yeah, it's 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so it's got Wi-Fi. It's got Bluetooth. You can put a SIM card in it. That's Is right. A 3G SIM card? Uh, yeah, so it's a, 
whatever you put in your iPhone. So it takes a micro SIM card. And, like it uh, can even do 4G. Uh, yeah, 4G, not LTE, but it does. Uh, it, okay. it works Close with uh, HSPA okay. plus. Okay. And uh, yeah, so you know, quad band three, uh, quad band UMTS. And uh, it had a micro GSM. SD cable uh, uh, plug connector, so you can Charging tether cable. it to your computer or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, and exactly. it's running Android, so c is it? Can you go onto the Play Store and just tell it to? Or do you have to? <laughs> you have to sideload the apps. Sideload the apps. Yeah, you have to sideload the apps. Okay. Yeah, but we are uh, right now. You have to. We are working on uh, our own app store. Uh, you know, it's almost complete. We're gonna have the app store complete uh, by the time we launch. So you know, you'll be able to securely pay for and download apps. Uh, you know, on the, directly on the device. You ha I can see in your head. You have a whole list of these watches now. You want to buy and you're trying. Ah, to I don't know what to say. Two wrists, two watches, right? So coming to CES for me is a very expensive proposition, <laughs> people. That's all I have to say. So Holly's always. Holly regrets me coming here because I come <laughs> home with a lot more than I came here with, you know. So, so anyway, it looks awesome. I think, uh, first cool. of all, congratulations on the Kickstarter. I mean, thanks, holy thanks. crap, 800K, that's a good <laughs> one, okay. Second of all, congratulations to those of you who picked that up for 199 because <laughs> I'm going to take him aside after this and make him raise his prices because it's worth more than that. Uh, and anyway, I look forward to the updates when you get yours so you can test it I'm and do excited. the whole review. Where are you going to post? that review anyway smartwatchfans.com it's nice. funny that you should ask <laughs> nice and where can people go and order another one of the, uh, you know order one or order another one if they want uh, to you can check out our site right now at neptunepine.com and you can order them directly from us sweet awesome. Cool. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for hanging in there for all of our continuing coverage here at CES. I'm John P. I am Adam Zeiss. And we will be back with more later on. 